DreAllDay.com. Hey everybody, Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. Video's topic here is what to do with the things that you know. In the world that we have now, there's plenty of information. You got hundreds of thousands, millions of YouTubers, authors, podcasters, speakers, experts, coaches, consultants, trainers, people putting knowledge out there in the world, information out there in the world for people like you and me to use. The problem is we have so much information these days that number one, we take in so much of it, we don't even know how to sift through what's useful and what's not. Number two, taking in so much information, we don't have time to actually decipher it, apply it, actually use it and get anything of value out of it. And number three, some of us get so that we start masturbating on knowledge that we take in so much knowledge that we forget that the whole point of gathering knowledge and accumulating knowledge is not just to have it but to actually apply it and use it in some constructive way that helps us make our lives better and gets us closer to our own individual pictures of success so what i'm talking about in this video is what to do with the things you know not just to know things but what to actually do with them so that it can provide some actual value for you besides the fact that you could say i read the book or i watched the video or i I listened to the podcast or I heard this or I heard that. Nobody gives a damn about any of that because it doesn't do anything for us. The bottom line in life is you got to produce results, right? You work on your game to get an opportunity, you get an opportunity, you perform, you perform, you produce results, you produce results, you get all the rewards that you want, whether that be money, attention, fame, love, whatever that comes from having that information. So it's the result that matters in the end. So what we're going to talk about here is three tips as usual, what to do with the things that you know. So point number one, Knowing things has zero value. All right, knowing things does not mean anything. If you read, listen to every podcast, read every book, been to every seminar, took every class, got every degree, just because you know things doesn't actually produce value. You know anybody who knows a whole lot of stuff, but they don't really seem to have produced as much value for their own lives that is, you know, has a linear relationship to all the knowledge that they claim to have. So just knowing stuff doesn't mean anything, people. If you really want to create value in this world for yourself and or for others, you have to do more than just accumulate the knowledge. You got to take it to the next step, which is what we're going to talk about in the further points on this video. Point number two, just because you know things. Again, now we got clear that just because you know things doesn't have any value. Number two, anyone who's going to create value has to be able to apply their knowledge. Wisdom in life is applied knowledge. Wisdom means your ability to take the knowledge that you have, all this knowledge that you have up in your brain, and knowing when to apply which knowledge and when not to apply which knowledge that's what wisdom is about wisdom is not just knowing all the right things it's also forgetting some things when it's convenient or when it's smart or when it makes the most sense to forget it or not to apply it for example there's advice out there that says sometimes you got to make noise and be the loudest person in the room there's also advice that says sometimes you need to be quiet and not draw attention to yourself and it's better strategically to do it that way which one is the right piece of information they're both the right piece of information wisdom the wise individual knows when to apply which one and when not to apply the other one and maybe when to use some mix of them so life is not this black and white color by numbers okay you take this one principle and this just applies to everything you do in life every person every situation this is the foolish person who's gathering now as they start to think that well you say something they're like well i heard this person say this i heard this book say this or somebody will come to me and say well dre i heard you say this in this video and then you said this in this chapter in your book which one is it they're contradicting each other of course they're contradicting each other because life contradicts itself that's why we got day and night that's why we got sunshine and we got rainy days that's why you got good people and bad people we got good moves and bad moves we got cold and we got hot we got spring we got summer we got winter we got fall things change so the wise person knows okay now is the time i need to use this information and they also know okay now is the time i'm gonna forget that information i'm not gonna forget it but i'm not gonna use it and i'm gonna use this information over here which is the exact opposite of what i was using in that situation the smart wise individual knows when to use what and also when not to use what that's what wisdom means is applying the right knowledge at the right time in the right way and also not applying the wrong knowledge at the wrong time in the wrong way that is the key if you remember one thing from this video that's it and this is the thing that sometimes you know, frustrates people when they're on a come up when they're learning when they're you know up and coming because they say well is all these different pieces of information I don't know which one is which I don't know which one to apply at which time this is why you must gather experience in life and you have to review your experiences not just get experiences but actually review your experiences and see what made sense what didn't what worked what didn't work so you know which to apply in the future and which not 
to apply in the future. I heard uh, John Maxwell, who's written like 70 books, say this. It's not just experience that makes you better. It's your, your review of the experience. You got to look back on your experience and ask yourself, okay, what made sense here? What didn't make sense? How can I get better from this? Just going through it and not learning from it isn't going to do anything for you. And point number three, this video here, in case you came in late. I'm talking about what to do with the information you have, not just gathering the information, but doing something with it, because if you just gather it, do nothing with it, you're going to be a loser with a lot of information in your brain. Point number three, you think about a lawyer. I don't know if any of you are lawyers, but if you just think how lawyers work, lawyers read a lot of books, they prepare a lot of briefs, they got to go to school for a long time, they spend a whole lot of money to get that law degree, and just because you gather a whole bunch of information and read every book and passed every test, that does not make you a successful lawyer. What makes you a successful attorney, and I'm not an attorney, but I know this because all the principles of performing and producing results, what makes you a successful attorney is winning cases. And winning a case does not necessarily mean you don't have to have the most information to win a case. What you got to do is prove your information, prove your case, prove your point, you know, beyond a reasonable doubt or create enough of a reasonable doubt, depending on which side of the case you're on, to get your client to be free or get them off or not guilty or to get somebody convicted. That's what a successful lawyer is. A successful lawyer is a person who can win a case. And winning a case does not necessarily mean you know the most. It means you can prove the most when it matters most. That's the key right there. And for all of you athletes, especially a lot of athletes come to me and they say, well, look, I practice all the time. I work really hard on my game, but then I get into games and I don't do anything. Well, you like the lawyer who studied every book, but then you get in the courtroom and you garbage and you keep losing cases. Nobody cares that you did all that practicing. Nobody cares that you read all those books. Nobody cares that you passed the bar with a 100 on the test or however they do the bar exam. It doesn't matter if you're not producing it in the game. What matters in life is not what you know, it's how you can prove and apply what you know when it matters most to produce a result when you get your opportunity to perform. If you don't do those things, nobody cares that you know stuff. Do I need to repeat that or did you all get that? <laughs> you got to produce a result when it matters with the right knowledge, not using the wrong knowledge when you get an opportunity to do so. That's what matters in life is not that you know things or you read things or you know this person or you took this course or you went to this class. Nobody cares about any of that shit. All that matters is if you produce a result or if you did not. Let's recap three points here. What to do with the things that you know. Number one, having knowledge has zero value whatsoever. Nobody cares that you know things. Nobody cares who you know, what you know, what book you read, what podcast you listened to, what course you went to, what seminar you attended. All of those things mean absolutely nothing unless, point number two, you know how to apply your knowledge. A wise person knows when to apply which knowledge and when not to apply which knowledge when it is not going to serve your needs, when it's not going to serve your ends as they stand in that particular situation. Again, this is key. That right one piece of information may be perfect today, but tomorrow you may need to use the exact opposite piece of information and the exact opposite action because of a different, different situation that you may be a different person at that point or dealing with different people, different circumstances at that point. This is the height of wisdom, knowing when to use what and when not to use what. Have I said that enough times? So point number three, just because you had the information does not mean you will be successful. What makes you successful is your ability to prove it, use it and prove it and produce a result when it matters most. Not just in practice time, not just when you're studying, not just when you're thinking about it and reading the books and bragging about having information. It's about when it's time to prove it and apply it and make something out of it that produces a tangible result. Do you have the information at that point? Because a lot of people got it when it don't matter and they don't have it when it does matter. So having it when it matters matters more than just having a whole bunch of it in general. I made my points clear. If you want to learn more about all this stuff that I'm talking about, you know where it's at. It's on the Work On Your Game podcast. That's every single day iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, Google Play, everywhere else. My name is Dre All Day. Website is DreAllDay.com. You'll know what it is. Work on your game. My book, Work on Your Game, Using the Pro Athlete Mindset to Dominate in Business, Sports, and Life is available now where all books are sold, physical, digital, and of course the audio book 100% done by me. You have learned from these philosophies, the mental game, business, sports, life, anything you do, this is the book for you. Go get it now and work on your game. Dre all day.